The Fremont Cultural Arts Council was formed by historical efforts to help advocate for cultural arts and the surrounding community. FCAC promotes uh, the arts and the culture of Fremont and, and environs, but mostly here in Fremont. With support from uh, City of Fremont founding fathers, and they were founding fathers at that time, along with very supportive spouses, they formed this nonprofit organization to promote the arts in Fremont and to raise funds and lobby for a performing arts center in Fremont. The organization is ran by inspired and passionate volunteers who want to support and serve as a collective voice in matters of public policy, affecting cultural arts, and give back to the community. We don't have an event center. We don't, most of the time, we don't sponsor enough of the cultural and art activities that are going on in Fremont at the city level. And so any kind of promotion you can to promote this is a good thing. I used to be a regular writer for uh, our local newspaper, Tri-City Voice, and uh, I used to review many art exhibits in various places like uh, Olive Hyde Art Gallery and uh, Fremont Cultural Art Council events. And over a period of time, I realized it was time to give back to the community, and FCAC provided me with a great platform to do that. Fremont Cultural Arts Council felt like a good place for me, a good home for me to join and um, just be involved in other aspects like today's uh, writing contest and, and other things like photo, uh, photo contests that we have also once a year and um, just be involved in, in the city and the Tri-City. The FCAC promotes community building activities that help local artists showcase their skills and work. Flash Fiction is uh, a very interesting event because it gives local writers an opportunity to write and also it uh, helps them to have their work published in the local newspaper. I run it, I get to choose what the theme is every year and I get to read all the stories. And uh, so then I, I have a lot of fun reading the stories. I also love the photo contest that we have. And um, our uh, photos right now are recently, um, we had a contest and, and it's being exhibited at the Fremont Library. The Fremont Cultural Arts Council produces its own events and offers sponsorship and assistance to their local art organizations. We conduct various events. For example, we conduct uh, arts and crafts in Shin Park where local artists can come and display their artwork, they can sell their artwork. We work to cross-promote. We try to work as a networking, linking um, organization to um, link up artists who might have mutual reason to collaborate. We help a lot of other Fremont art organizations as well and like the gallery we get involved we have um, we have interns now that for a few years and they also help different art organizations in the area um, where they go out and help on their events but they help on our events. And we have events like Las Posadas uh, which is held in front of uh, the Mission San Jose Church where uh, all the communities come together to celebrate the nine days of uh, journey that uh, Mary and Joseph uh, uh, took. The FCAC encourages community and civic efforts to help create performing art facilities and public art installations. We have no event center. We have no dedicated large M area for art program other than Olive Hyde, which is a tiny place, only about half the size of half price books. And so we are being strangled by our city and not having enough venues for the arts and culture in Fremont. I would definitely like more people to participate and uh, take part in the events so that, you know, it is uh, an opportunity for them to display their artwork or their writing skills, just to take part in different community events. This all-volunteer organization helps promote the public image of Fremont as a balanced community as it strives to provide benefits and opportunities for arts and culture in the community. It's a wonderful organization. It's a great opportunity to, read, to volunteer for a lot of cultural and artistic events. We're always looking for volunteers. In fact, we're registered through Handshake with Ohlone College as an employer for um, internships, and we would be very, very glad to partner with a, an Ohlone College student. I hope more people volunteer, more people come and sit on our board and, uh, uh, you know, take part in the 
community events and also give back to our community. To become a volunteer or learn more about the Fremont Cultural Arts Council, visit their website by going to fremontculturalartscouncil.org. This is Anna Garcia for Ohlone Tri-City News.